The following scenario you're about to see is Red Hat Patch Management in Tivoli Provisioning Manager version 5.1.1. Only five steps are required to complete the Red Hat Patch Management scenario. They are as follows. We will first add credentials to members in the group to communicate with the Red Hat network. This will allow us to register with the Red Hat network, will allow us to scan for patches, distribute those patches, and install those patches. We will then run a scan against that group. We will check compliance against that group. We will remediate a patch, which will require us to approve first and then install the patch. And finally, we will run compliance against the group and view the software tab of one of the machines to see that the patch has been installed. This scenario is best viewed in a resolution of 1280 by 1024. Welcome to Tivoli Provisioning Manager. What you're seeing now is the welcome screen to Tivoli Provisioning Manager. And for this scenario, let's take a look at the members that we're going to use for the Red Hat Patch Management scenario. To do that, we choose from the left hand navigation, inventory, manage inventory, computers. And on the right hand side, you're now seeing a list of the machines that Tivoli Provisioning Manager knows about. And the two machines that we're going to work with are Demo Play and Demo Time. These two machines have been placed into a group, which I can go to now by using left hand navigation. And now on the right hand side, we see a list of different groups. Some are out of the box. And the one that we'll be working with today is my Red Hat Patch group. If I click on this group, you can see the two machines I just spoke of are members of this group. So the first step in our patch management scenario is to add credentials to these members so that they can talk with the Red Hat network. And to do that, we're going to choose task management from our left-hand navigation, click on favorite tasks, and on the right hand side you should see that there's a task called add credential for the group to the Red Hat network and there's a bit of a description of what this particular task does. So we're going to execute this task by clicking on the actions button and run. This brings me to a four page wizard. The first page is asking me to select the target computers. In this case I'm going to choose the group called my Red Hat patch group. I'll click next. On the second page of the wizard, it asks me to fill in the registration information so that I can speak with the Red Hat network. To do that, I will input my search key. And my username and password. I'll click next and on the third page of the wizard I'm able to schedule this particular task now or sometime in the future. I can be notified through email when this task begins, when it completes successfully or if there are any errors. I'll click next which brings me to the fourth page of the wizard which is a summary of all the information that I just inputted. I'll click finish. Clicking finish brings us to the track task page and you can see that the task page is being filtered by any tasks from the last 24 hours and you can see that the first task which has already completed is the task that we just initiated. So the second step is to run a scan against this group. To do so we'll click on the left hand navigation here groups and from the right hand side we're going to choose our group my red hat patch group. This brings me to the general page of the red hat patch group and I'm going to choose now the compliance tab and here there are three steps to complete the uh, compliance check. We will add the particular check which is the OS patches and updates check. In step two we need to run a scan. By doing so we've initiated another task. I can click into that task to see the details and this brings me to the task details page and as you can see there are the two targets from that group and both scans are in progress. So our task is completed and the third step is to check compliance against that group. So we'll return to our group, my Red Hat patch group, and hit the compliance tab and our third step is to run the check. This also initiates a task which we can look at the details and in this particular task we are running a check and it's currently in progress. Our task is completed. So the next step, step four, is to remediate a patch. So let's go and choose one of the missing patches. We'll click on groups. 
My Red Hat Patch Group. Click on its Compliance tab. And if we look below at the check that we added, you'll see that the two machines are both out of compliant. We click on the Actions, Recommendations. And this brings us to the Issues Recommendations page. And at the moment, we're viewing by the missing patches. And if we choose, let's say, the first one, we can click on the list of affected systems. And by doing that, it tells us that one of the two machines, demo time, is missing this particular patch. I could as well choose to view this by computer. And when I view by computer, it shows me that the first particular patch is missing on demo time. I could then possibly select the next five. And by doing that, now it's showing me that demo play is missing this particular patch, whereas demo time is missing this particular patch. So let's go back to view by missing patches. And let's choose a high severity uh, update. The first one being Samba client is to severity zero. So we'll select it, approve it. And just before we run this one, let's see the list of affected systems. So demo time. And I'm going to select and run this now. By doing so, as invoked another task. I can click to watch the details of the progress. And this brings me to the task details page. And as you can see, we're currently in progress. So our task is completed and we've remediated this patch. What's great about remediation in TPM is after you've done it, automatically a scan is run on the endpoints, which only leaves us one last step, which is step five, is to rerun compliance against the group and to view the software tab of demo time. So let's go back to the group and choose my Red Hat patch group, choose the compliance tab, and just run the check. We initiated a new task. I'll click on it. And that brings me to the task details page where I can monitor the progress. Now that our task is complete, we've rerun our compliance check and it's been successful. So we could go back to the compliance page and check to see if either machine in our group um, is in compliance. I can click here on the target, which is the group name. And that brings me right to the compliance tab. And you can tell that both machines are still out of compliance because they were missing uh, quite a few patches. I could now go to the computers page, have a look at demo time, and I'm brought to the general tab of this machine. You can see that there are still 196 issues remaining. And clicking on its software tab, I'm in the patches view at the moment, and you can see that the Samba client that we just installed is, is now part of this machine. So that concludes the scenario Red Hat Patch Management in Tivoli Provisioning Manager version 511.